Thank you everyone for clicking on my presentation. Today, I'm gonna present the communication plan for the city of Harrisburg. My name is Melissa Mesones Ortiz and I work at the city of Harrisburg as a deputy director of communications. Welcome. The communications plan's primary goal is to reinforce and keep an efficient and long lasting relationship between city of Harrisburg employees, residents and stakeholders. Management considers implementing internal strategies, such as informative meetings that contribute to achieving institutional objectives. And also we wanna look further external communication deliveries and how the importance and the influence of this communication will give to the stakeholders. The city of Harrisburg core of values is promoting the district's socioeconomic, sustained, harmonious development. The problem, lack of resident engagement and retention. Since COVID-19, residents and stakeholders have yet to have much chance to connect with city of Harrisburg employees due to insufficient information release. I will provide you a little bit analysis of the internal and external communications in the city of Harrisburg. Internal communication is handled in various ways, all of them to provide a solution to the experiences in labor relations. According to survey feedback carried out and collected from external communications, there are several differences. The first is the interaction with the public or the residents with customer service. Two, that reach applied to the campaigns or the information provided about the work carried out. What it means to have releases, public notices. Three, the branding engagement. How much do you identify with the residents, with your institution? Resolution. Coster and Heske 1992 says that central role of engagement is to take action to create activities that support creativity and innovation in the business, in which employees, clients, and stakeholders will be able to share and connect accordingly. Baruch and Wessel Whiskey 2021 say that inclusion of social media channels allows companies to continue to survive and compete because the use of social media enterprise is the ability to communicate and interact with customers in one click from the conform of your home. How can we do that? Internal communication. Provide anonymous survey, one-on-one -on -one interview with management. This strategy is essential because it will measure employee satisfaction levels. Second, promote internal communication through digital media with mass notifications such as Everbridge. Teams and newsletters. Employees will be on the same page. External communication. The city promotes the coverage of external activities, works, and projects. This strategy will spread the word about the excellent administration and help with branding. Ledger IO 2022 says that branding perspective will help employees positive sense or belonging of the organization. Why? Because they identify with the institution and they feel proud of. Another one, the management of digital communication, social network, website, and others includes press releases, public notices, and emergency declaration to keep residents informed. Organizational communication with local and private entities, building bridges with local and private organizations for positive on possible alliances, sponsorship, funding, and collaboration. The best leadership that we can do here at the city of Harrisburg is to apply an efficient collaborative leadership to smooth the pressures of changing. Collaborative leadership relies on trust and empathy. Putting yourself in the other person's shoes will help you understand their problems, motivations, and why they behave in one way or another. Now, as you can see, I had a three of stakeholders. We had employees on the top, then we had the residents, 
we had a press and media, we had public and private entities, we had a city council members, we had a city controller, we had a county and a state. All of them form our stakeholders structure. Stakeholders, systems thinking provides tendencies, characteristics, and deep understanding of relationships between management processes and the interaction with the general public. Recognizing organization strengths and weaknesses will allow to take corrective measurements or continue implementing what it works. In the leadership presence, organizations need a common language to use every opportunity to engage directly with people in which they play the role of coach with their teams. This allows a learning culture to be generated, which is the best on human talent is contained. A work environment that keeps motivation level high is a key to organization success. If your employees are satisfied, you wanna have a satisfied customers, which means you are providing an excellent service. Now I want to give you a sample of a communication plan that it was delivered in May and I wrote it for the city of Harrisburg. Local resources. After listening to those who rely on the city of Harrisburg to find answers for their needs, a city team took the lead to make this possible. City residents can now get a streamlined online experience on the new city of Harrisburg local resources tab with the auction or the printable document list. It is also displayed at the Martin Luther King Building here in City Hall. The purpose of local resources is increased awareness of local organizations that provide different services through the city. The goal, the city of Hollywood is small but mighty in caring for its people. The goal is to continue building liaisons to keep everyone served. Beneficiaries, families, seniors, homeless, visitors, first and Harrisburg residents, and other organizations, public and private entities, employees. The delivery method. I use the status I mentioned that is a type of communication to pass on information to target residents' inquiries. In this case, the need to have local resources. Baker 1999 says that using the authenticity of the one who needs to persuade, being genuine, and acting in harmony with one belief, finally respect for the recipients is the case of spread the information to help. In this case, when we release the local resources tab on our website, it was to appealing for people to share, not just for them to know the information where to go, but also to share with the neighbors, also share with the people that you work with, and for the employees to know the information when somebody asks, it is nice to know that where you work, you know all the resources that you have. And the information, you never know. It will be a good thing for somebody else. Local resources timeline. The local resources tab provides enhanced functionality for greater accessibility to critical information from local community organizations, an online tutorial that has been provided to its navigation. This was released in May 6, 2022. One week later, May 10, the tab directs to a page dedicated to basic needs such as children, family, food, government, international immigration, legal, mental, health, shelter, and women. The print version has been accessible and distributed to different local organizations. I had to also give you a little more information. We start just on the website. However, we when we launched this program, we were giving 
um, more information to the press and the media, and they were giving a suggestion like how people receive it, uh, their other needs, and, and then we need to maybe start putting in different type of platforms and little by little, every week by every week, we were listening to not just the press and the media, also to the residents that they wanted in different platforms, uh, on print documents, and also in displays in many organizations. Then uh, one month later, in June 6, the city of Harbor is committed to boosting and improve mobile responsiveness and user-friendly navigation to quickly access better organized content or services. If residents need assistance using the local resources tab or any other information, they can call 311 customer service for a clear directions or directed information. And I want to make a note of this. If you speak another language, it doesn't matter Spanish, Chinese, we have our website in multiple languages that you can just click and everything, all the information will be in the language that you prefer. As well, the 311 customer service is not only a, a line that you can submit inquiries on looking for information or asking for tutorials to provide your directions. They also has a dedicated line in Spanish for people you know, who speak Spanish or they need other assistant. While we are doing this, um, we know according to the demographics in the city of Harrisburg that the second minority most um, that live more, more here in the city of Haribo is the Spanish community. And for those who speak Spanish, we had a dedicated line and we're hoping that we're having other people that join us in the city of Haribo and they can provide other language services. We do right now having a sign language in, in all our city council meetings uh, that we had on Tuesdays. We stream on Tuesdays, so it is available in all our platforms. Here in this screen that you are seeing is a press release that is it was written by me. It's a press release that we provided to the media, to all entities, to the state, to the Dauphin County, saying that we are doing this effort in collaboration with other organizations to, to have the local resources. And the other page that you are seeing is the local resources. That's the, the paper that we have and the PDF um, on, on our website that you can print it, you can access from home. And also we can, we are we have in the same uh, flyer here in the, in the city, in the first floor in the reception. So everybody is able to, to grab it. We have in the organization as well, you know, they are sharing the information that they have, like for example, the Salvation Army have some limited services, so they refer to other ones. So the point here is not just connect you with the agencies as well. If the agency doesn't have the services, they can connect you with other agencies, they can refer and they know also the services that they provide, you know, is we are an entity that wants to give you in different directions and different opportunities and different alternatives so everybody has something to offer and everybody has the same, um, the same service or the service that they need. Another note uh, for information, we have our newsletter and our newsletter, we, are, we had a tutorial uh, video that we record how to access to the local resources staff on our website. We have uh, the link where to print the document as well. We had a 311 number, the customer service or other languages. Um, it is nice to have the local resources in different platforms because young generations, they are quick and they are, it is easy for them to access from their phone, for their devices, for the computer, they click. Some people are more visual, the people like more videos and we have less than a minute videos or minute and a half videos. We know that extensive videos is too much information. People get bored, so one minute, it is enough for people to attend and they have a practical directions. Um, and people, they just like the information on their mailbox. So we send that newsletter 
directed to the mailbox. So you have all the information that is going on in the city with the local resources. If we are receiving any update. As well, the organizations, they are welcome. Sometimes I receive calls for any organization that want to join us and they are every, we are keeping updating almost every month to adding new local organizations here in our website, providing information. And if you click in, on our website for the local resources, it's not only giving you phone numbers and direction, they also give you a little background of the organization, the services that they provide, a link to the website. And right now we are recording videos of the organization providing services. Like for example, we were recording a video for the Shalom House that is a shelter for women and children. So we are doing a little extract of the services, how they're taking the intake when the person arriving, what is the process, how long, what kind of services that they provide, um, stuff like that. So everybody keeps tuned to me, like to receive more information on our social media. We had our YouTube that is, um, we keep updating with videos um, and for people that are seniors that maybe they don't have access to the computer, they are welcome also to, to come here to the city, of, city hall. We have computers so people can access here to not just to check the local resources, also to look for other services that we have here in the city of Harrisburg and looking for um, um, employment as well. In conclusion, the success of the strategic communication plan will rely on the acknowledgement of what is needed as an institution to recognize and fix issues in time, analyzing the internal and external factors to be fulfilling according to the present administration work, guidelines and government. Policies is intended to improve, strengthen and consolidate a smooth communication. It is also essential to act accordingly with clear goals and objectives and guide staff members to meet the goals aligned with the pur purpose and objective of the organization. Finally, transparency will increase understanding between individual differences generating good relationships and achieving personal fulfillment and happiness by creating a harmonious work environment. The local resources effort, it was a team effort that it, it was not only me who provide the idea and who developed the structure, as well we had an IT uh, team behind behind the scenes that we are we were able to to release the information, put it in the website. It looks nice. We had also a, a TV crew that we record, we film, we do the tutorials, we edit it. It is a it is a extensive work that we all together can for the residents in providing more information and we're keeping doing more projects, um, keeping the, the good vibes, keeping the communication that is the number one, the internal communication that is between employees and management and the standard communications, keeping informed and keeping, keeping the relationship that we have with the residents to provide a better service. Our point is serving the community and the community is the number one who can give us a better be feedback. How do we do these projects? We are looking for metrics, the metrics, the metrics they are they are giving in the in the newsletter, how many people read the newsletter. We had a metric, the statistics, like by gender, by age, how many people access to the to the online tools like YouTube, Facebook, next door, and also the survey, in-person survey, you know, for people that they like to be in person, they just want to speak to you or wants to just write a paper and say, this is my suggestion. So we have different sources, uh, resources to see how can we attend those needs for people and how people feel um, identifying with us as an entity, as a city of Haribur, the, um, that we care about them and they are being, uh, they are listened by us. The administration sometimes uh, they feel, as I say in the problem, they feel that they are disconnected with us because what happened with the pandemic, but uh, it is also the point that we want to connect with them. We one day give us a feedback, letting us know what else we can improve, what else we can, we can have to keep them informed from my department. Our point is just to distribute all the information, all the knowledge and share, having everybody in that equal level to spread their opinion um, 
to share. That is our main goal. Thank you for watching my presentation. Have a nice day. Happy holidays.